Today we're talking about ball joint tapers and what you need to be looking for if you're working with aluminum. We're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper. Visit us online for more information. VW, BMW, Audi, and even Jaguar are using aluminum suspension components more and more on their vehicles. They're doing this to save weight and also improve the ride of the vehicle. But there's one fundamental problem with this, and it comes down to the ball joint taper stud. If you had a conventional taper that's on most ball joints, you're dealing with a hard metal stud going into a soft alumina component like a knuckle. This can cause issues because that taper will eventually eat into that knuckle and destroy it. This is why we're seeing more and more ball joint studs with this very unique taper that's probably about 30 degrees or 45 degrees on some vehicles. This is actually designed to be a torque to yield fastener. Instead of the whole stud clamping into the knuckle itself, you have just this taper right here, and then the clamping force is generated by this torque to yield fastener. This prevents the wearing damage on the knuckle if it's aluminum. With this, you're probably gonna have an initial torque spec and then an angle anywhere between 30 to 60 to 120 degrees. It's critical that you follow this because if you do this wrong and you put too much force on it, it could break or it could be too loose. If it's too loose, it might destroy the knuckle. So keep this in mind when you see this design of ball joint stud that you're gonna need a torque angle gauge. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.